I want to welcome you to Reading with Wilbur! One, two, three, four. Wilbur, Wilbur, where is he? I don't see him. Can you help me? Touch your head and touch your toes. Where is Wilbur? Do you know? Touch your knees and touch your nose. Where is Wilbur? Do you know? Wilbur is so very kind. Wilbur is a friend of mine. Wilbur, Wilbur, come out and play. You can hide another day. Wilbur! 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 Hi, boys and girls. This is Marshall the Monkey with another great Wilbur story. This one is Wilbur Plays an Instrument. Wilbur wasn't sure where to look. There was so much to see and hear. Boys and girls from high school brought cases and made instruments appear. There were big ones, there were small ones, and all sizes in between. Wilbur asked about a round one that was called a tambourine. Some instruments they blew in, others they hit with a long stick. Some were played quite slowly, and others were played quick. Some were shiny metal, and some were deep dark wood. Wilbur wanted to play them all, as if a little wombat could. The band director had them quiet down, and then each played one by one. They heard the smallest piccolo, and they heard a great big drum. The trombone had a sliding thing that made the notes change tune. Wilbur saw a big long tube that they called a bassoon. There was a huge brass tuba that played notes loud and low. There was a tiny little saxophone that played as high as it could go. Wilbur listened to the sounds the instruments could make. But then there was some rumbling and the place began to shake. A drummer played the timpani, which sounds like thunder in a storm. Everyone was happy as they watched them all perform. But Wilbur had a worried look as he watched instruments go by, his arms too short and nose too long to give an instrument a try. The band director had a thought, I know what I will do. I'll be right back. Just sit tight next to Pete the kangaroo. They held a little concert with new instruments in hand, and Wilbur played the triangle as a member of the band. Did you like that, boys and girls? What's your favorite sound? Have you ever played an instrument? If you played an instrument, what instrument would you like to play? Talk to mom, or dad, or brother, or sister, or your friends. Talk about instruments. Hi, boys and girls. This is Bill from Science Alive. And he bring in Furry Murray. That's him. Where, where does Furry Murray live? Well, that's a good question. This is called the nine-banded armadillo, and they can live in lots of different homelands, lots of different habitats. You can find nine-banded armadillos like him in the Amazon rainforest and you can find them in deserts if there's a river nearby for them to drink uh, from. And this kind of armadillo <laughs> even lives in our country, the United States of America. They can be found uh, in Texas and Florida and Georgia and some of the warmer states down south. Michigan, we're so far north it's cold here. We have winter and they can't live in this part of our country, but if you ever go to Florida on vacation, if you go out at the right time of the evening when the sun is just starting to go down, you can find lots of nine-banded armadillos, but they need to be in a warm, warm part of the world. If you want to learn more about reading with Wilbur, check out our website. Thank you for watching Reading with Wilbur. See you next time.